I got the call around 7 p.m. on a Tuesday and the rehearsal was at like 2 o'clock on Wednesday. And I remember it was for the Emperor Concerto, which I hadn't played in a few months. And uh, when I agreed to do it, I had to figure out which passages I most needed to practice that night because I couldn't practice in my apartment until, you know, past 8.30 or something. So it was really, it was that last minute, like I was making those kinds of calculations. I got on a plane the next morning and that was that. The whole thing was a haze, absolutely, to be honest. I mean, it was a piece that I had played a lot, so it, in a way I felt very secure about it. But I remember just, you know, I was, had, hadn't slept very much the night before the first, re first rehearsal and just sort of was thrust into the situation and just, you know, it, the whole thing kind of washed over me, to be honest. I remember, I, though I have to say, I do remember thinking, God, the, the orchestra sounds fantastic, you know, which has been my impression on subsequent visits here as well. As chance has it, uh, we worked together for the first time about a month ago in New York. Uh, so I've gotten to know him, and he's a really wonderful musician, very extremely natural, but also very, very cultivated. Uh, we played Beethoven, not this one, but number three, which is, a, a, in a sense, a very different kind of a piece. But he seems completely as at home in dramatic music as he is in music that's more lively. Also, I heard him conduct Shostakovich, and he's doing Scheherazade here. It's, I think he's someone who can do who can do sort of just about anything and do it with a, with the, a lot of charisma and a lot of integrity also. I, I really appreciate what he does enormously. The qualities that it, that it has, the qualities that really distinguish it, immense charm, a lot of vitality, um, the f kind of fantastic subtlety are not necessarily the qualities which um, put Piano Concerti on the top of the Greatest Hits collection, you know. It's not in any way an ostentatious piece, and it's not even especially a very brilliant piece. It's a piece of, of wit and, um, and playfulness, and in the slow movement, actually, uh, a great, almost operatic beauty, something I you know, always associate with, with Beethoven. And I love it. It's actually the first one that I learned. It's the f one of the first concertos by anyone, actually, that I learned. I was probably about 12 or 13 years old. It's the first Beethoven concerto I ever played with orchestra. Um, and it's been with me over the years. I think it's a question of language. I, I find with sometimes people overstate the difference between Beethoven's early and late periods um, in the sense that I actually find that these early pieces already do have that spiritual dimension. I mean, the slow movement, for example, is really already sort of, you know, trying to conjure the infinite in the way that Beethoven does. But the language is extremely different. I mean, it's still, you know, was one foot in Mozart's world. You can tell that he was using Mozart as his, as his model for, you know, concerto composition. And, you know, the, the cadenza is just not from that sound world at all. It's with this already much more sort of metaphysical style, I would say. And uh, you can really, yeah, I think that's really what's so striking about it is that you feel the evolution. There's this very classical quality in the rest of the first movement, and then all of a sudden the piano enters for the cadenza, and it's like, there's this slightly psychedelic aspect, and then there's four minutes of this whirlwind, and then it's over, and then we're back into the early Beethoven. It's a very, it's a very special musical institution, the Pittsburgh Symphony. I mean, it has a sound which is at once opulent and very flexible, uh, and there's a tremendous amount of pride uh, and a tremendous amount of enthusiasm in the playing here. And I. I always look forward to that, and I've yet to be disappointed by it. Uh, it's every, I've, you know, this orchestra has been wonderfully loyal to me, so I've been here a lot, as you say, and every year I look forward to it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure and it's a privilege to play with these people.